Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. Let's talk about valve adapters. <laughs> so this can be a bit of a confusing topic for people. So I just want to make it really crystal clear of what you need to blow up your kayak, basically. So when you order a pump from us, a double action hand pump with gauge, it comes with an attachment of valve adapters. The two, there's a few that are really, basically two main ones that are really critical for most of our kayaks. The first one is this one, it's called the screw-on valve adapter because you screw it on, funnily enough. And this is for use with what we call the spring valves. The spring valves have a little spring inside and it allows you to push and turn, set it to inflate where it only lets air in and deflate where it only lets air out. So we would push and turn and set it to inflate. What you do at the end of the pump hose, there's a little bayonet style fitting. So you push and turn to get that to a screw on to a spring valve adapter attached to the end of the pump hose. Then you go down and you screw it on to the spring valve till it's nice and secure. Now that does a couple of things. Obviously it allows you to pump air into the kayak, but what it does more importantly, if you look at the inside of the, the uh, screw on spring valve adapter, it's got a little plastic rise in there. And what that does is actually push the valve back down halfway. The reason it does that is you want some air to be coming back up through the tube for the pressure gauge to work. Now, don't be alarmed if you at first you think your pressure gauge is not working. Pressure gauge typically doesn't start working till about one to one and a half PSI. Okay, so you need to have the kayak fairly firm before you get a pressure reading. But that's what the screw on uh, spring valve adapter is for. It's for use with the main chambers in getting a pressure reading. When it comes to the twist valves, which are these orangey sort of ones here. They literally twist to open and twist to close. These tend to be used for low pressure chambers. So things like the lumbar seat, um, inflatable lumbar seat. They're used for things like a foot brace and they're used for the soft floor that comes in a lot of the advanced frame models. None of these are high pressure chambers. So for that, we don't actually get a back pressure reading. There's not enough pressure in those chambers to, um, for, the, for the pressure gauge to work. So you just go by feel. Once it sort of gets to basically full of air, but still soft, you're done. Now, what we use for these ones is a slightly different valve adapter. You won't be able to use the screw on valve adapter for the twist valves we use this one here. This one I call a push-on valve adapter. And it's basically because you push it on. <laughs> so it's about a centimeter in diameter and it's very common. So a lot of pumps that you buy at any store will have this adapter on them. And you use it on the twist valves literally by pushing it on, okay? So that's at open, you'd push it on, you'd pump away. Remember, you're not gonna get a back pressure reading. Then you twist the valve closed and then you pull the hose off and the air stays in. Really simple. Now the great thing about the push-on valve adapter is you can actually use it on the inner tube of your kayak. So if you can't find your twist on, your, your screw on valve adapter, this is a great substitute. And I actually use this a lot myself because it's quicker, because you don't have to screw it on. You literally push it on and it's on. The thing to remember though, is you're not gonna get a back pressure reading from this because the valve is set to inflate. Now, if you move the pump up and down slowly, you're going to get an idea of the pressure because when you're pushing the air in, there is some back pressure. There's some resistance hitting the pump, if that makes sense. So that's your best bet. But if you've been blowing up your kayak for a good while now, you get a good feel for what, you know, 2 PSI or 2.2 PSI feels like. So you generally are less reliant on the pressure gauge and you can save a bit of time by using that push on valve adapter. Now, if you bought a foot pump instead of a hand pump, it comes with the same swag of valve adapters. So you've got your screw on and you've got your push on, but what it does not come with is a pressure gauge. Now, when you first get your kayak, having a pressure gauge is really important because if you under inflate your kayak, it's not gonna perform that well on the water. And if you over inflate it, you can risk damage. So it's really important to get the right pressure. I, I very strongly recommend anyone who buys a foot pump also gets our inline valve adapter. So this product is essentially a pressure gauge. So this is the pressure gauge component here. And then this is the bayonet fitting. So this goes into the end of the pump hose like this. And then this is your screw on valve adapter. So you can screw that onto the kayak and you get a back pressure reading, just like you would with the hand pump. Note though that this screw on adapter is removable. So you can take that off and put a push on valve adapter for your twist valves if you want. But just remember that you're not gonna get enough pressure in those chambers with the twist valve to actually get a back pressure reading. 
If you bought uh, one of our Elite models, so if you bought the Advanced Frame Convertible Elite, for example, or the uh, Advanced Frame Expedition Elite, you're gonna have a drop stitch floor with that model. And sometimes people buy the drop stitch floor as an accessory for the regular Advanced Frame or the Advanced Frame Sport. Now the drop stitch floor has a different valve again, essentially because it's a very high pressure chamber. So what it's called, it's called a HR valve, Halky Roberts valve. And the principle is the same though. You push and turn, it's got a spring inside and you wanna to go to up for inflate. Now this has a completely different valve adapter though. And the place you find it is in the pocket behind your seat, okay? Don't lose it, <laughs> always put it back in the pocket behind your seat so that you've got it. Note that you'd have to use the hand pump, the double action hand pump for the drop stitch floor because the foot pump is a maximum, gives you a maximum pressure of 2.5 psi, whereas the floor we tend to inflate to four to six psi. So you take that uh, end off and this has the same bayonet fitting. So you literally push and turn and there it is, it's on. Now this one's a bit different. Instead of screwing or pushing it on, you push and turn like that. And then you go ahead and pump up the drop stitch floor. Now, the important thing to note about this particular uh, valve is that similar to the screw on adapter, it depresses the spring valve a bit to allow a back pressure reading. So you will get a pressure reading after about one and a half PSI, but when you, un when you untwist the valve uh, adapter, you'll hear a little psh, a bit like when you unscrew after doing your bicycle. And that's a little bit of air escaping as the, the valve pops back up into the inflate position. So you just need to accommodate a tiny bit of extra pressure maybe to allow for that. So you simply push and there it is, okay? Then you, with all of the valves, you put the cap on for, just for safety. And when you're finished, as I said, take that HR adapter off and pop it behind the seat pocket. If you have an inflatable stand-up paddleboard, you might have a pump that looks like this with a HR valve adapter on the end. Now you can use this for the drop stitch floor or any drop stitch chamber, but unless you can take the end off and put our inline valve adapter on, you won't be able to use it for the twist valves or the spring valve. So you'll have to get a new pump. And for a, anything with drop stitch or anything high pressure, the double action hand pump with gauge is your best option. So some of our kayaks and quite a lot of kayaks on the market use what's called a Boston valve. Now the Boston valve requires the push on valve adapter. Boston valve basically has two screws. One screw you open up for deflate and the other screw, the, the top screw, you open up for inflate. And it simply pushes on and you can inflate your kayak. The Boston valve has a flap inside it to stop air coming out when it's on the inflate setting. Now that means you won't get a back pressure reading if you just use the push on adapter. What we sell as an optional extra is what's called the Boston pin valve adapter and it has a little metal pin in it. And what that does is pushes the flap out the way to allow air to come back up through the pump and give you a back pressure reading. Now, when you put it in, you just need to turn a little bit to find the hole and then you push it through and it works just the same as the push on valve adapter. Hopefully that helps you understand the advanced elements, valves and adapters. But if you have any further questions, please get in touch. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks.